Hi guys, um, welcome to the Movie Reviewers 100. I may say it's uh, great to be actually be, be able to make a, a review for this channel again after all that's gone on in the last few months. Um, this week is Indie Week and um, I'll be reviewing the movie Donnie Darko. Um, this this um, film is directed by Richard Kelly, it was his uh, first film. He had trouble getting it off the ground. Um, it almost became a TV f film, but thankfully he was actually um, able to uh, get it into theatres. And um, unfortunately, it didn't do very well monetary wise, but um, it has become somewhat of a cult, cult classic. Um, I'll just read the uh, description of the film on the back here. It's um, set in 1988 in a small town, USA. Um, and it's about to witness the end of the world. Uh, it's home to Donnie Darko, a brilliant but troubled teenager played by terrifying visions which he alone knows the meaning of. With his classmate and soulmate Gretchen and a mysterious ex-teacher named Grandma Death, uh, he must untravel the, unravel the strange occurrences affecting his school, his home and his life before a horrifying specter known as Frank leads Donnie to the edge of his sanity. Whew. Okay, so um, trying to describe this film is going to be very hard. Um, I I like it, but I think it's really down to viewers' discretion or, and interpretation of what this act was actually going on in the film. You can actually listen to Richard Kelly's um, uh, commentary on this film to try and get some idea of stuff that you might not have grasped yourself. But even after you've you've listened to what he has to say you're still left with questions about exactly what Donnie Darko is about. Um, but I think that's, that, may be, that may be intentional by on Richard Kelly's part. Um, who knows? I mean, he, he, he kind of fell on his, on his face, really, after on his second film with Southland Tales, which uh, was so absurd and, and so ridiculous. And... Absolutely made was absolutely completely bonkers and made no sense whatsoever. But with this one, I kind of can get a grasp of what's going on. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal, who n n now is becoming uh, quite the movie star, um, is the main character here, and he seems to be aware of what's what's going on. He's uh, by fate he survived um, uh, an engine crashing through the the roof of his house and landing on his bed um after this uh, after this event of him surviving this things have taken are now taking place um that are affecting the people around him um he's getting visions from uh this man in a bunny suit who's telling him the world is going to be ending in a certain amount of days and uh he, I think, he, he comes to the conclusion at the end that uh, with this, um, the ability to change, alter things around in time and space, that um, he can then um, fix everything that's gone on during the film. That's my take on it. <laughs> anyway, so uh, it's kind of like an anti "It's a Wonderful Life," whereas uh, you know Jimmy Stewart is showing all the bad things that happen if he doesn't exist. Um, I think Donnie Darko can kind of see the bad things that might happen if he does exist. And uh, that might that might be one of the points of the film. That's my interpretation of it anyway. Um, but, I mean, around that, it, there's, there's great dialogue in this. There's a fantastic scene that is so funny where him and his friends... Um, are discussing Smurfs is is hilarious. You, um, if you can just find that scene on YouTube, check it out, or or you know watch the film. Uh, so my actual take on the film is this: um, it's visually uh, very pleasant, a very good movie to look at. It's got a lot of style. Um, the dialogue is witty uh, and and uh, very entertaining. The characters are well drawn out. Uh, and very interesting. You you kind of invested in in the characters here, uh, especially the mother and the sister and the and uh, 
his his friend girlfriend. Um, the plot is good in a way because it, you can it, it leaves up to, up to you to kind of interpret what is going on. Um, and overall, I I think it's a, it's a it's a pretty good film. I I like how I like how it doesn't kind of uh, dictate to you exactly what you should you know what you should actually make of the film. It's it's really it's kind of like the the tree of life really. Um, you know that's that's another film where it allows the viewer to kind of make their own mind up exactly what's going on while they're watching it, and um, it's very similar with Donnie Darko. Um, Donnie Darko, in a sense, is 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 a more fun movie though, because of uh, um, it has a lot of wit in it. So um, I can only but recommend the film, and uh, hope you feel the same way. If you let me know um, what you think of uh, Donnie Darko and um, how you interpret it, you know. So I'd be very interested to hear. Um, I'll catch you later. By the way, I want to apologise for all the arms and long pauses in that uh, review. This is, has to be the hardest film I've ever had to review because it is, you know, at the end of the day, quite bonkers uh, in trying to understand what it is all about. I think uh, hopefully next week um, it will be a, a little bit easier for me and I, I will uh, be able to describe the film a little bit better for you. But anyway, it, don't let that put you off. It's still a good movie, trust me.